Hey guys, I'm Atticus James with AtticusJames.com and today you're probably wondering why we're out at the lake with some luggage. Well, we're doing a Pelican review on this Pelican luggage and I kind of wanted to go to some place that's a little bit more calm and serene than out in front of the airport. A lot of people know that the airport is a hectic, annoying place to be, so I figured, hey, if we're going to talk about something that's hectic and everything else, let's go into some place that's a lot nicer, more serene, more... <sighs> so I've had this Pelican case for about a year now, and I've waited an entire year so that way that I could get as many travels in as possible, which is right now sitting at about eight uh, trips, either checked or uh, carry-on. So I really do like this case, so I've had a lot of, of opportunity to use it and get to know and tell you kind of what my thoughts and, and opinions are. As a side note, we are going to also be talking about some of my travel tips, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned at the end of the video for all of that and I'll talk to you there. So let's jump right into this. First thing, the nicest part about this case is it's red, it's bright, it's visible. So if you do check this bag, when it's coming off of the carousel, you can say, hey, just look for the hard case that has this big red border around it. Very easy to spot. And since it's a Pelican, there are not going to be a lot of people who are going to be purchasing Pelican suitcase because I doubt many people actually know that they make Pelican suitcases. This stuff is really good. This is their carry-on. This is their 22 carry-on. It is designed really for being put inside of the airplane with you. So a lot of nice features is that it is watertight. It is watertight. Uh, it is watertight. <laughs> So you've got a, a seal all the way around it with these latches that lock it down. So as long as you are in a sloppy packer and you pack everything inside of the actual case itself, it's going to be watertight, which is really nice for anybody who's worried about when they're traveling and they go and check the bag, that their bag's not gonna get wet with everything being underneath the plane as, as you've got those loaders just throwing your bag in. Another thing is, is that it's Pelican, so if you're familiar with any Pelican cases, either for camera or military or even just in the gun world, you know that they have a really good name when it comes to really strong built cases. Another nice thing is that it has a TSA approved lock on the actual suitcase. What this means for you is you don't have to worry about trying to go and find your lock or having TSA cut it off, which Sadly, we had that happen recently. I lost a very nice lock that I had. They decided to cut it off or take it off and then didn't put it back in the suitcase. I had nothing but clothes in there and I was pretty pissed because I spent a good amount of money on it. But this means it's all locked on. It's very simple to just latch it and lock it and you're good to go. It has three carry handles, one on top, one on the side, and one on the bottom. This means that no matter how you're pulling it out of your trunk or out of your uh, hotel room or anything, you can get a good grip on it. That to me is one of the best features because more times than not, I'm trying to pull it off of a shelf and it doesn't matter which way I put it up on that shelf, I can grab it. It's taken a hell of a beating as we've been traveling with it and overall I just really like it. Now I did have two pieces that came with this, two bags. Uh, one that is a shoe bag that comes with this and the other one is more of a, a dop kit. It's empty, it just is available. I actually use it for my camera gear. I put all of my cables and all of my little extras into it so I don't really use it with this suitcase so just be aware that you do get a nice little shoe case that fits size 12 shoes for those of us who have bigger shoes. And uh, it does come with a nice dop kit too. I really do love everything about this. It has a really nice, heavy duty handle. So when you're going and swinging it around, you're not worried about breaking it. It's not flimsy. This thing is really well built. Overall, I really can't say anything bad about this. I'll show you some pictures here about us taking it through everything. I just enjoy carrying this suitcase. Granted, this is an expensive suitcase. If you are somebody who doesn't travel a lot, this probably isn't for you. This is a really like three or $400 um, 
just for the carry-on suitcase and to me that's really high but at the same time if you're going to be putting electronics like I put my camera gear inside of this bag I don't have to worry about it getting all jostled around because I can pad everything up and then I can throw this in underneath the plane and I'm not worried about it. If somebody goes and drops it, yeah, I don't want people dropping my stuff, but at the same time, I have some scuff marks on here from people dropping it and it falling and doing different things, and overall, it's fine. Pelican is great, they do warranty this case, so if you ever have any issue, it like we have, I, I've seen a, a few of my friends with their gun cases have been dropped and broken by um, baggage handlers. Pelican typically will just take care of it. They're not gonna worry about any kind of warranty, even though they do have an amazing warranty. They're just gonna take care of you. Why? Because that's the company that they are. So let's jump into my tips about travel. First thing that I wanna show you is on the back, I have some tape here where I, I have my name and I have my address and the biggest thing about this is I learned this from Casey Neistat and, and I know some of you guys may know who he is others may not he's a vlogger who does a lot of really great videos but he travels a lot and he puts his name on everything and I used to think you know okay yeah I, I, I should put my, my name on things that are going to go out and you know like to the to the you know, my, my bags or my phone or anything, so that if I lose it, somebody can contact me. But I learned after letting my parents borrow this that whenever they go to the airport and anybody's picking them up, they don't really have to tell anybody what the suitcase looks like. They can say, just look for the bag that has his name on it. You can find the bag really easy that way. This way that if it gets lost or anything like that and they're asking for identifying markers, you say, my name. It's just written right on the bag. You can find it real easy. So that's my first travel tip, is that if you're gonna have any bag, like I have this brand new case, go and put your name on it. Go and, and, and don't be afraid to mark up the bag. Everybody puts little tags and, and yellow ribbons and red ribbons and, and, and they're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna be so smart because nobody else is gonna have that ribbon and then you go to baggage claim and you're like wait everybody has a red or yellow ribbon so if you put your name on it it's easier to find another tip is don't go with these go with something that has a, a little bit heavier duty like a cable on the um, uh, luggage tag that way that if you're going to another country and you're going to visit family you can write all of the information on that tag instead of having it for the US Write it for where you're going. Because more times than not, you're not gonna be losing it in the United States, you're gonna be losing it going overseas. You may have a connecting flight. I know that whenever I go to Mumbai, I always worry that as I travel through um, Dubai, I'm always worried that, hey, do my bags make it onto the next plane? And having the cable on there, I'm not worried that this is gonna get ripped off in transport. One of my other travel tips for you is when you're looking at suitcases, look at bags with four spinning wheels. This Pelican is really nice, but one thing that it doesn't have is four spinning wheels, which is okay for a carry-on because again, you're keeping this generally close to you. We all know the travel woes of sitting in line, waiting to go and check in and check your bags and sitting there and pulling your suitcase over the stanchion and it's just like uh, uh, or hitting somebody or having it get caught and then you're you're that guy and everybody feels embarrassed about it and it's like it happens to everybody but when you have a suitcase like this you hold it in front of you and you just kind of drive it I really prefer these over the just two-wheeler or anything that has just a straight wheel it makes it easier to move around especially on these larger suitcases when you know that these are just a checked bag. Another thing is, is that it makes it easier when you get to your hotel, when you're sitting there and you have a bag or anything to be working on, you can kind of slowly move everything out of the way as you're checking in. It makes it a lot easier to work off of. Something that a lot of people don't realize is if you're not traveling a lot, big, heavy, expensive suitcases are probably not the best way to go for you. You can go to places like Kohl's or other department stores and pick up for really good deals for like about 75 bucks a three-pack of a carry-on, 
a mid-range suitcase and a large suitcase. These are really great deals, especially since most of us don't travel like these world travelers, people that, that are constantly in the air. If you're not one of those people, if you travel once or twice a year, having these suitcases that are not as expensive is great because if they do get broken or damaged, you're not worried about that suitcase and dropping in a $400 suitcase and losing that or anything. These cheaper suitcases are really nice for that. I have noticed in certain people's videos and, and certain friends of mine who do travel a lot that they prefer cheaper suitcases just because if they go and use it up and break it after a year, they're not worried about going and replacing the wheels or having to deal with warranty. They just replace the suitcase and they're okay with that because they can buy three or four suitcases for the price of one. To me, that makes more sense. So I typically have this, but when I carry my, my heavy camera gear, I like to have the Pelican case. And that's why I got this one or why Pelican was kind enough to send this one out to us. Guys, I'm Atticus James with GearsOfGuns.com. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you did enjoy, I will leave a couple more videos over here for you to check out. And I will catch up with you next time. Thank you. Bye.